Hey everyone, it's Will with ManufacturedHomes.com. Welcome back to Where's Will's Manufactured Home Tours and thanks for stopping by today and hanging out with me. Today I'm in Albany, Oregon and we're at Homes Direct up here. And what I found for us today is a unique single wide that I call a half a house because it kind of looks like a half a house. But this one's unique, really awesome. Let's get going because I'm going to tell you all about it. It is a beautiful day out here in Albany, Oregon, everyone, and thanks for joining me. Today, we're at Homes Direct out here, and if you're in the area and if you're looking for a home, this dealership, I would run down and take a look. They have many gorgeous homes just like this one. This one right here that we're looking at is a gorgeous single wide that has an awesome exterior and plenty, plenty of windows, and if you've followed this channel, you know what I think about windows and that natural light. So I'm excited about this one. This one is the Loft HD 1576, built by Palm Harbor Homes. It's a two bed, two bath, and it sits at 1,140 square feet. The dimensions of this home is a 76 foot by 15 foot and just take a look at this exterior. I'm absolutely loving it. The starting price for this home is $115,000. Let's go take a home tour. Where's Will? And now it is time to see what this single wide has to offer. And walking in, I'm thoroughly impressed already. I mean, take a look. I love the vaulted ceiling. We have a seven and a half foot sidewall on one side that goes up to, I do believe it's like a nine to 10 foot on the other side. That is an eight foot front door and plenty of room in this living room. The size of this living room is 17 feet, four inches by 14 feet, two inches. And we're taking a look at some of those windows and some of the storage capabilities with that archway right there. I'm loving that. But hey, before we get any further, do me a favor, hit that like button. That always helps out the channel, helps this video get out to more people. And if you haven't done so yet, consider hitting that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted to when a new home tour is posted and you'll be able to follow along and see these home tours as soon as I capture them. And now let's go through this little archway and walk into the dining room and kitchen area. What I like about this home here is, you know, in a lot of single wides, you don't have like a dining room area, but here we do. And the size of this dining room is about eight feet, 11 inches across and then long. It's, you know, give or take about 10 feet. And, but what I like also is it kind of has a dry bar here with storage up top. Um, you have adjustable shelves there. You have, I think it's three cupboards down below. You have a nice, like I said, dry bar and some storage underneath and four, uh, excuse, yeah, four drawers, five drawers to um, look and uh, to store stuff. Now they are a little on the thin and short side, but they work. So, you know what I mean? That is a nice touch. And like I said, we have a dining room that's actually separated from everything. And it even comes with this cool chandelier. What do you think about that, everybody? Let me know what your thoughts on that cool chandelier is in the comments below. And then spinning around here, we're going to take a look at this kitchen. And I mean, take a look uh, again for a single wide that is 76 feet long. You have so much storage, so much niceness packed into this. They are not wasting this floor plan space at all. I mean, take a look, good quality construction. Anything that comes out of Palm Harbor Homes is great. It's good quality construction. And this home right here, you, as you see, it's set up for the black appliance package, which of course you could always change in the ordering process to um, you know stainless steel, white, whatever you would like, you know, for your home taste and comfort. Um, taking a look up there, you see all those big old transom windows letting that natural light in above the, um, the cupboards, which is cool. The cupboards don't go all the way to the top. So you might need a ladder to clean up those uh, you know, dust bunnies once in a while. Um, but take a look. We have plenty of storage, good drawers like everywhere. Um, I like the countertop design. It's, it's pretty standard. Um, I do like the backsplash too, if you took a look at that. I like that design. It's not all the way up, it, it separates. And we have plenty of power outlets everywhere. We have a dual sink there with a window right above that does open right over here. You see that Whirlpool refrigerator with a little bit more storage capability um, up top, which is awesome. Um, well, not really storage, but more decor. You know what I mean? All I see up there are ivy, you know, right? <laughs> what would you put up there? Let me know. Let me know. But look at this. I mean, honestly, you know, for a single wide, I would love to cook in this kitchen. Um, you know, it's, it's straight away, pretty easy, pretty nice, and it's packed. 
you know, uh, plenty of room for everything that you need. And now we're walking in to the utility room. As you see, we have plenty of room for your side by side. Um, we don't have uh, any kind of shelving above or anything else like that. So that is a consideration, but that is decent. Right in there, you had your, of course, your electrical panel and all that. But, um, you know, if you want to learn more about this home and want to see its features, capabilities, oh, look at that fan. I love that fan. Um, there's a link in the description below. Click on that. It'll take you directly to this floor plan where you can see some more photos that I took, some videos that we did, and uh, a 3D tour. But most importantly, get that pricing directly from a retailer near you. So we're walking into the uh, guest room right here. And actually, you know what, for being the, the smaller size guest room, it has a great amount of room in it. You know, not only, you know, you have the, the vaulted ceilings, which give you that, you know, illusion of space, and it just makes it feel bigger. The size of this room is 11 feet by 14 feet, two inches. And it has a decent size um, closet here with wooden shelves, reinforced wooden shelves and a wooden coat rod. So that's awesome. Um, nice window right there. Not too wide, not too small. So, you know, you can put your bed really anywhere in this room, which is cool. Um, and then walking through here, we're going to take a look at the guest bath on this side, which is positioned quite well. You know, it's right off the front door, right off that bedroom and looks great. The um, countertop backsplash same design as the kitchen which is complimentary looks nice plenty of lighting right over there and then over here we have your standard um, 30 by 60 wrap around um, tub shower which is perfect looks great and then of course right there you have your water save saving elongated toilet and as always don't use the toilets at a dealership or a sales center because they are not hooked up no, don't do that. And then right here, as you see, we have a little bit of more storage, you know, for um, like linens and things. Kind of nice. Good. One little tiny adjustable shelf. And then right over here. I mean, this home is, is great, you know, uh, just everything, the size, the space. I love these, these cubby holes right here. That archway is just a great, um, you know, addition. And like I said, the way they have put everything in this home, it is situated perfectly and you're not wasting any space and it's quite comfortable. I like this home, I like this home. Let me know what you think about it, you know, in those comments. And then right now, of course, we have just walked into the primary room and right here we have plenty of room in this primary for a single wide. This is 14 feet, seven inches by uh, 14 feet, two inches. And as you see, the vaulted ceilings going up just Look at those windows, but that is nice. And I mean, that is a nice little area. You could put a, maybe a little love seat, like they have the chairs there and the dresser. That is nice. I like that. And this, like I said, this primary is rather spacious for, you know, actually this whole home is rather spacious for, for being a single wide. I'm actually rather, rather impressed. And then right here we have a nice oval shaped um, soaker tub positioned right into the corner um, with room around it for uh, knickknacks, things and, uh, you know, decor. We have a nice big window right above there. And then this is where your toilet is situated um, next to that. Pretty cool. Um, pretty nice. I wouldn't mind like a separator there, maybe like a pony wall or something, but that's just me. I don't like being close to a toilet when I'm taking a shower or bath. That's, I'm just a weirdo. But over here we have a nice uh, uh, mirror. We have the same style and design of countertops and everything else over here, which is nice. Looks great. And then right over here, of course, you have your, I do believe this is about a 36 inch um, uh, shower uh, wraparound. Um, really nice. Looking good. You're basic, but really nice. You know, you have a seat over here to the left-hand side. A small seat, but, you know, if you need a seat, that's there. So it's nice. And then right over here is where we have your primary closet. Now, walking into the primary closet, it does have a transom window there, letting some light in. So you don't have to turn on your light and waste that electricity. And in here, you have plenty more room for storage um, of your things. So it's, it's really nice. No, I like this home. See, kind of like I have a wall there separating that. I wouldn't mind a little pony wall just separating that toilet. But um, now that is the primary area, and that is this home. This home is really cool, honestly. Like, if I could get this in California, if I had a little bit of land, I would definitely, you know, drop. In the past, dropped for it. I have three kids now, so this is a little small for me for that. But this is perfect for so many 
different reasons. So if you want to see it, check it out. Click that link in the description below. Hit the subscribe button. Follow along. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today here on Where's Will. I do appreciate everyone's support. And if you haven't subscribed, think about it. It's fun. So there we go. Thanks again. Remember to live smarter, choose manufactured, and travel easy, everyone.